Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with this masterpiece. This is the remastered Chris Kyle The Legend weapons set. We just got these in stock, limited to exclusive in the US. Let's go ahead and unbox and then we'll actually do the build on this so you guys can see how it's done. So first thing I gotta say, this is super, super satisfying. This is like a Pelican case and all the handles move and you just unclip it, just like the real thing. So if you're a finger fidgeter, this is right up your alley. Let's show you the inside. You can see we've laser cut all the foam and there's actually two rifles in here. You can see the second one. So all these elements are from Chris Kyle comes with this hat right here. This was on our original release. So you can see it's the tan Cadillac cap that came on our first CK figure. We're doing a throwback by putting it in this set here. And let's go ahead and take out a look at the rifles. If you know what kind of rifles these are, leave that in the comments below. We're gonna do a build on these so that you guys know how to do it. It does come with four extra magazines, okay, for pouch stuffing. So let's go ahead and put this one together first. We'll go over some fine details. So magazine is removable, okay? Sometimes when you get them new, you gotta unstick it so it could be stuck, but just wiggle it back and forth and pop out, okay? You can see the bolt is spring-loaded and does move. Dust cover does move. You can see we've weathered the whole rifle. Got the little Punisher logo right there. Suppressor, okay? You can remove this. You got to be careful with it. You have this little thing right here, which has little teeth on it that come out right there. So if you want to remove this, you don't have to, but if you want to, you push this up. You wanna make sure that you don't break it. But once you pull that up, that pops out. Suppressor comes out. Okay, you can see where those little teeth grab around here. Put it back on, we're gonna basically center those holes. And we're gonna come back down here and throw this in until it fits properly. Found the mark, it's good to go. Next thing we're gonna do, scope, okay? This does have movable caps. We're gonna pull the charging handle down like that, and that should allow me to slip this on the rail, on the front. And you can see I still have the charging handle pulled back, and now that'll seat. Okay, you may wanna use a glue dot to fasten it to the end, but that does move on that rail now, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is slide on the PEQ. We're just gonna come down the rail right here. Kinda of line it up right there like that. Next thing, we're going to take this handle. We're going to go ahead and slide this on here. We'll pull it down to where you want it. Next, we're going to take the spring-loaded bipod. This is a real spring here. That does pop out. The legs do extend. We're just going to slide it on right here. And then if you want to, you can put this thermal on there. You don't have to. I'm gonna display mine without it. But if you want to, I'm gonna pull that cap up and then we're gonna slide this on the top rail. And 
And that's that completed rifle built. So super, super cool. Love this set. Awesome. That's number one. Let's do rifle number two. This one's a little bit trickier. Let's pull all the parts out. We had some people commenting that the CK vest didn't have M4 magazines, but this is where you get them. Or you can buy parts at blackopstoys.com. These particular magazines come only come with this set. These are have the skull logo there. So let's take a look at the rifle. Again, magazine comes out, dust cover moves, bolt carrier group goes. If you wanna move and extend the stock, you can pull this down. This is a piece right here, it's got a little end on it. Now I can move this back and forth. And I can make that set in one position, okay? Lots of parts here, a lot of stuff to go on the gun. So one thing this rifle does do is you can disconnect it like that. You can see you have a barrel nut, just like the real thing. By doing that, this allows me to pull this out and now I can put anything on this rail system I want to, okay? It allows me ease of use and access. So let's go ahead and do this. Just slide on the light. Take the PEQ. Throw that on top. And match that up with the front there. Take our grip, can go on the bottom. So this only seats one way. You wanna make sure that you don't mix up the two. This will allow me to take this. This is my red dot. Again, covers do move. I'm gonna throw that on the front right there, like that. Make sure that I have enough clearance. Flip the caps up. Now, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go back in. Now, I'm gonna take this, put my barrel end. You can see that it's got a notch at the top. Just like that. Now we can come in with this. Push it in. There we go. Looking more like a service rifle now. And then you have the suppressor. You always wanna be really careful with the tip. This is a secondary piece here. So that, that will pop off if the glue's not set right. You don't want to remove that, okay? And what I have here, these are files. So like sandpaper. And what I would recommend is you just take this. What I'm doing is just filing on the inside of this suppressor so that it goes on easy. Take this and we're just gonna slide it on there. You don't wanna push too hard. That's about all she wrote. We have a couple more things in the sticker bag. So you have a sticker for the case. Recommend you put that right there. And then you have some iron sights. And you can put these on this rifle right here if you want to. This is your front sight. That does move. And that'll go again way up here. And then your rear sight again 
does move as well. And that can go in the rear. There's not a ton of space left. This is basically everything that came on the gun is on the gun, but you can set it up in multiple configurations. But those are easy to put on after the fact. These weapon sets are currently online right now for purchase. Don't wait because they are limited. We did less than, I wanna say 300 units. So we did like 200 units or 250 units or something like that. But once they're gone, they're gone. This is the CK weapon set from Black Ops Toys and Easy and Simple. If you like this video and you wanna see more of them, make sure that you follow, like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more exclusive and exciting content. Chris Powell,